Thanks for attending LinkedIn Local Perth. Now, if you haven't yet posted your, your wares from last night, your takeaways, your photos, your videos, your gifts or gifs, then do it today. You, you've got today and um, until the end of today to post your posts on LinkedIn and be in the in the running for that um, prize draw of accommodation at the beautiful Ibis Stars East Perth uh, to be judged by Zach. So let's aim to impress. Now, how do you post? Well, hopefully you've done it on your phone, but if you haven't, you can do it on desktop as well. So clearly this is mine. You can start a post. You can add a photo. You can add an image that you can upload from somewhere, hopefully your phone, or a document. Now, a document might be maybe you've created a PowerPoint of all your slides, turned it into a show, and then there, there will be like a carousel you can uh, run through. You could write an article. But to be in the running for the prize, you need to use the hashtag. So hashtag LinkedIn local Perth, because that way we can find it. So what does that mean? Hashtags on LinkedIn, um, you can see them, they're, they're blue. They show up down the side here under followed hashtag. So hopefully you're following LinkedIn local Perth. So here it is. If I click on it, it will take me to the content already posted. You can see here how many people are following it and you can see that I'm following. So I recommend you follow it. You're telling LinkedIn that you're interested in this particular topic. And it means you can find the content easily. So here's my last post. You can see um, here's some photos from the event. Here's my text. Now I'm just going to go through some of the um, some of the how tos in terms of the instructions for posting. So I've said use one image or multiple images. Now the reason why I've put three, three, five, or up to nine is you can see here you can see five in this grid. It sort of presents them in a square shape on the desktop here. Now if you use two images, it's going to cut them down the middle. So often the image, if particularly if it's a landscape image, is going to crop out some people or some key information. So it's good to go with odd numbers. And if you go more than five, then you can see here it says plus, plus four, which will make the nine. Nine is the maximum for a multi-image post. And if I click on here, then it's going to go through and show me the rest of them. And they display correctly. So that's images. Now you can also add an, a, a video or you could upload your GIF if it's in video format. Um, so that might be what you've chosen to put here. So that's the in the visual part of it. You wanna tell a story. So in this particular example, I'm talking, my focus is on sharing IBIS. So telling um, telling a story about IBIS, about the experience, about the, the friendly staff, the energy, the colorful vibe. So that's what it's all about. I'm not trying to cover too many things in one post. I've at mentioned um, Zach, so you can see here, there's a link to his profile and he'll get a notification. I've at mentioned the hotel and you want to make sure you're following. There we go. That's fixed. And you want to use the hashtag, which would take you to this hashtag list search. And then I've got some other hashtags in there as well. And I've said ideally three to five is a good number for hashtags. You don't want to be using too many. So more than five is um, a bit excessive. So it's certainly not Instagram. So I've gone through all the different bits and pieces. So that's how you post. So think about your story. Now your story could be based on one little thing. It could be about the hotel. It could be about the event overall. It could be about the people you've met or something you learned. So you can educate, you can share a story, You but you want to be engaging with your audience. So I've gone through a few tips to engage your audience by tagging people or at mentioning them by using hashtags, but also ask a question. Now I'm not asking a question here. So I'm not expecting a lot of engagement outside the people who already know the hotel. So it's more of an announcement post down the bottom saying our future, our future, you know, we found a home for our planning meetings. But if you ask a question, now I'm asking engagement. So if I change this and said, um, you know, which, which was your, uh, what was your favorite color in the carpet? You know, was it the blue, the pink or the yellow? for instance. Now, if I want to change this post, because I've missed the hashtag, for instance, so maybe I've got the hashtag wrong, I might have used just hashtag LinkedIn local rather than LinkedIn local Perth. Any post on LinkedIn, if you click on the three dots of your post, so any of your posts, you can edit. And now I can go back in. So sometimes you might have created something on your phone because it's nice and quick and easy, but you've missed something critical. So now I can put in, you know, Hashtag, I don't know, networking. I probably put that one in already, but there you go. I can start typing and save. So I'll get rid of that, just go cancel. So you can certainly um, fix any quick post that you made on the fly. Now, what if you're not, not sure where to go, how to find your post? So a couple of ways to do it. You, you can go to your profile or you can go to me, 
post an activity which takes you to that section of your profile. It may show up in all, in all activity if it's the last thing you did, but if you're looking for posts you've made, go to posts, and that one will be at the top for me because it's my last post. You know, scroll down to find your post and off you go, edit it. So once again, edit your post. If you want to share your post with somebody, you can copy a link to post. So you can send it to someone by email, by, um, I don't know, Facebook, by Twitter, whatever platform you're looking to promote this to, to get, um, get some attention. So there you go. That's how to post on LinkedIn. That's how to use the hashtag, how to be engaging, what to, what to put in the content, and how to make a change to something you've already put out there. And we've also covered how to, how to actually find content. So I'll just show you in the search box here, if you type in hashtag LinkedIn local Perth, it will find the hashtag, there it is. Click on it and now I can find the content. And it's sorted by top, so I can go to most recent so I can see exactly who's talking about the content here. And there's a video from Jeff, there's some photos, more photos, oh, that's from previous previous event. Um, but yes, so I'm looking for more content um, using that particular hashtag. So if you haven't used the hashtag, edit your post and put it in so we can easily find your content because we want you to be in the draw to win the prize. So we're looking for creative, creative content and I can't win. So it's definitely not going to be me or our team. So uh, yeah, definitely give it a go. So thanks for watching this quick video. Hopefully it's helped you um, yeah, work out how to engage on LinkedIn, how to put your posts on there if you're not really sure and how to make some changes to posts you've already done so we can find them. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you at next LinkedIn Local on November 20.